In the tropical forests of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, beekeeping is a 3,000-year-old practice for the indigenous Maya. In the Mayan language, we know these bees as Shunankab. They are an endangered species that relies on certain endemic plants for their survival. Today, they are disappearing. In 2012, the Mexican government granted permits to chemical agriculture giant Monsanto to grow genetically modified soy in seven Mexican states. Large areas of biodiverse forests were cleared to make room for 600,000 acres of this lucrative new crop. When I realized that they were cutting down the forest and that the bees were dying from the aerial fumigations, it made us terribly worried. Lady helped bring together a broad coalition of community organizations, environmentalists, and beekeepers. They quickly discovered that Monsanto's permits have been granted illegally. Mexico has an international treaty where it has agreed to consult indigenous peoples when a project puts them at risk. When we realized that the government had given the permit without consulting us, we of course decided to file a lawsuit. Lady and her Mayan collective launched a far-reaching awareness campaign that received overwhelming public support and it put Monsanto and the government on the offensive. La reacción fue de confrontación. Their reaction was to confront us. They threatened and discredited us as indigenous leaders. I didn't feel afraid because as a Mayan woman, I know I am able to fight. I needed to stand firm and show strength to my comrades in the struggle. When she speaks, you can see that she understands perfectly the political and economic reality in her region. Monsanto was facing someone who had a lot of charisma and credibility. And that is what Monsanto didn't have. In a landmark decision, Mexico's Supreme Court suspended Monsanto's GM soy permits pending the consultation of Mayan communities. It was a victory for the Mayan people, but the struggle has just begun. The planting of genetically modified soy did not stop. We live in a country of impunity, of corruption. Undeterred, Lady and her community pushed forward, reporting illegal soy crops and defending their rights in consultation meetings. When people began getting sick, Lady suspected a connection to the increased use of toxic pesticides. She partnered with researchers who found dangerously elevated levels across the board. Every year, the levels of contamination are increasing. Everything is in jeopardy. The very lives of our people are at risk. After five years of Lady and the Mayan Collective's persistence and leadership, the evidence could no longer be ignored. In a truly historic victory, the Mexican government outright revoked Monsanto's soy permits across seven Mexican states. Lady and her Mayan people had finally prevailed. That is something that gives us enormous satisfaction as indigenous peoples. We took a great step in resistance for our land and in resistance for our forests. Looking to the future and with ongoing threats to Mayan territory, Lady's work continues. Y nos estamos organizando. We're organizing in our towns. We're returning to our knowledge. And that is what I want to say to the world. The Mayans are alive and the Mayans are fighting. It's a fight for life. De vida. For outstanding environmental achievement for North America, the 2020 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Lady Hetch, Opel Chan, Mexico.